How many poles does it take to stabilize a ski resort? One, two, three. <laughs> three. One, two, three. Which one? Three. Sometimes it's actually more fun, as this game shows, not to stabilize a ski resort because, wow, can, <laughs> can we even describe? It's kind of the it's chaos that occurs. It's like the guy was going up, do, 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 woo, <laughs> right into the mountain. Or it's like, do, 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 and then the wheel hits them in the butt. It's like, get out of here. And then, like, they go swinging, and then they crash into the wall. They're or even at one point, it's like, do, 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 <laughs> Spinning around in circles. Yeah. And you this totally do that for... Reminds me, game reminds me of Incredible Machines. Like, but it's it's not as complicated as yeah, Machines. It, I, I wouldn't in really call it Incredible Machine. Yeah. More like... Um, it it feels more like and I, it's gonna sound completely off, but Goat Simulator. What? I still have not played Goat Simulator. I've Here's seen the before. thing, you have these rag doll physics, and you. Okay, that's the only thing. It doesn't feel like an incredible machine, though. I, okay. I get where you're coming from, but yeah, like, yeah. it feels more like its own unique beast. But the funny part is, you can like undo and redo your your points, which I love. Like this is kind of like, what I was saying with Vitamin Girl, like. If you make a mistake, even if your guys all die or one dies, like, I don't think it matters, does it? As long as you it, save one person? Yeah, it doesn't really... You can try yeah. and try and, and try. And that's what I love about this puzzle game, because most puzzle games are not like this. Like, you screw up, like, sometimes, like, in Vitamin Girl, you screw up right at the start. Or if you accidentally choose not to restart, you have to start over from the first stage. Yeah, and even if you accidentally click rage quit or you want to know what that does, now you have to go all yeah, the way there's back. There's no save progression. I think that's a mistake. Like, they should recognize that you're progressed beyond the first stage. Like, what if you spent, like, two hours being in the second stage? Like, we didn't play that much longer after the second stage. <laughs> but this game... I find once you get the hang of it, like at first, I'm not really a big puzzle guy, so I wasn't understanding like how the hell to piece everything together. Yeah, and I basically handled much of the game. Yeah. Because but, it basically, I looked at the pieces and I knew what to do with them much easier than uh, Jim. So yeah. I was basically like, hand me the controls, I know how to do this. I can do this. <laughs> And Here, then I just basically watch. blazed through at least half the levels before Jim came back, and I basically yeah. he got he got some uh, he got some pretty good levels uh, done on his own. That was like that actually was, failing in this game. I find is even more fun than succeeding. I think if you just succeeded on your first try, you would miss out most of the fun of this game. Yeah, just seeing people spinning around and crashing walls and, that's and what, falling yeah. on their faces or sliding down the hill and then. Yeah, that's why I'm getting I, stuck in a crevasse. I always recommend you like at least someone ski pulls up someone else's butt. Yeah, it's and that makes failure a lot more fun than if you yeah. just failed. It's so like with uh, going back to Vitamin Girl. Yeah. When you fail, it feels like you're not having fun because it, it makes you. It feels you're not feeling like you're being punished. It just feels like oh, you suck. And the no. game's like sorry. Yeah, no, with uh, Vitamin Girl, it's like, you suck, you can't play, play this entire game all over again yeah, until you recognize. Over again. This game more is like, you fail? <laughs> okay, that, that's kind of funny. Yeah, and you can undo it too. Uh, you just you, but yeah, try this again, see what works, see what doesn't, and, mm -hmm. and don't worry, you have all the don't time play. in the world. You have all yeah. the tries, you have all the people, just make sure this works for the next rider. Yeah, like try, try again. And it feels like when a game doesn't see if your checkpoint, your progress or anything, it's just like, uh, and it's damn. And the best part about this is that it's one of those kinds of puzzle games where it doesn't give you like, a, like outside of like the tutorials, they don't give you a specific solution, yeah. which leaves you basically trying to figure out yeah. how to best do it yourself. Yeah. That's what I give. I give this game like it's not a graphically intensive game. Yeah, but it's it's got a nice look to it. Um, you don't. I find like you don't see puzzle games quite like this very often. Oh yeah, that's actually one of the things I should mention. This has a really cool graphical interface where um, it starts off with like a flat two D image of you basically building the uh, mm -hmm. chairlifts, 
And then it starts turning into like a 3D image once you start the simulation. Hmm. Yeah, you can shift the camera around a bit. I didn't really uh, mess around with that so much, but that's pretty neat. There's also a there's also a few levels that play a bit like Line Rider. And there's different terrains as well. I think Line Rider is the best uh, comparison, but basically you control a snowboarder and you have to make sure you don't die. Hmm. And you and you actually have to build like certain uh, ramps and other stuff to make sure you get there. Okay. I'm not sure. I find it really hard to criticize these games. Like I guess it's kind of a hard. At first, there was a learning curve for me, so I'd say there's that. Like if you get frustrated easily, you might not like this, even though there's a redo undo. Um, yeah, this is, but this isn't as frustrating as Vitamin Girl. So yeah, it's a, it's for a puzzle game. It's pretty forgiving, I would say personally. Um, but, yeah, this is one of those games that if you don't want to, like, I'm sure it gets a lot harder later, if you don't want to, like, work on the foundations and have to figure out, like, oh, shoot, I didn't do this right, like, you're not gonna like this game at all. If you just want something that you have to go straight in, run around like Strange Brigade, shoot zombies in the head or other places. But if you want to play, like, some yeah. sort of simulator kind of game where... You exactly. can test things out in like a sandbox yeah, environment. Yeah, like a bit more simulated environment then. Yeah, I'd give it a 7.5. I'd give this an 8 higher. out of 10. Yeah, it's, it's definitely, like we've played some puzzle games and it's like, oh, that's cool, but we didn't enjoy it. But we, I think we both enjoyed this, even though I'm more action-y. Yeah. Yeah. So. Let's uh, uh, ski lift away. Keep, keep on, on skiing. Ski.